My name is Case Barens, I'm the Chief Engineer of MAF in Uganda and uh, I've been in Uganda with my family since 2008 and before then we were working in Tanzania for 11 years. So I know MAF quite well. Um, I've been Chief Engineer since 2000 and in um, the years since I've learned a lot of things about uh, of course maintaining aircraft but also managing people, managing engineers, other staff members and uh, it's very exciting to, uh, to be working for MAF in this position. Uh, exciting because uh, to keep the planes flying, to keep them airworthy, to keep them safe is always a challenge in the circumstances in which we work. Um, we have uh, not always the right spare parts or tooling uh, and so it's always a challenge to find out how do we keep the aircraft flying properly and keep them safe and sound. Uh, we have a really good team team of experienced engineers, people working in our parts store, in our technical records office and all those people work together as a team um, to, um, to work on the aircraft and, and make sure they go out in time uh, in the right condition. Give a sample of a typical day's work, what you might be doing. Yeah, a typical day, we, we come in together in the morning, we drive in from Kampala town and um, we, we start the day off in our hangar with a short period of devotion and prayer for the day and for other math programs and for things that are on our heart. Uh, and then um, we go to our assigned jobs and some people will be working in, um, in, in the offices, some people will be working cleaning and some of us will be actually working on the aircraft. Now depending on what work is, is planned for the day, we um, inspect aircraft, we repair aircraft. Uh, sometimes they come in for a few days, sometimes only for a few hours. And, uh, and during the day we, um, we try to get as much work done as possible just to make sure that the aircraft go back out in time so that the operations department and the pilots can, um, can use them again. The caravan is a real workhorse uh, here in Uganda and you talk about phase inspections. So what is a phase inspection? Now the, the aircraft is um, almost like a car that can drive 10,000 kilometers and has to come in for maintenance. The aircraft, you measure the usage of flying hours. And so a Cessna caravan comes in every 100 hours and um, roughly in MAF Uganda every caravan flies about 90 hours a month. Um, so roughly every month we get a, a caravan in for maintenance. Um, then we do what we call phase inspections which are, is a large inspection where um, inspection panels are opened, the floor comes out, the engine gets inspected and it can take three to five days to carry out one of those phase inspections. Uh, after which the aircraft goes back to service for another 100 hours uh, and then it comes in for what we call a mini. A mini inspection is oil, check the tire pressures and off it goes again. And a mini is typically half a day to a day and then it goes back out again. After which again it flies 100 hours and then a phase inspection follows again. I was quite amazed coming down to your hangar and there's a caravan here, 9 Quebec Charlie Alpha uniform from the MAF Congo uh, program and on Monday it was uh, a complete aircraft but I've just come in a few days later and what have you done to it? Well, the, the, the chief engineer of MAF Bunya in East Congo is also working in our hangar with his team. And uh, yeah, they've brought their Cessna caravan in for a, um, an inspection which is required after 20,000 flying hours. So that aircraft has been flying for MAF for 20,000 flying hours. And um, this particular inspection means that you have to take the wings off and the engine off and the tail and the landing gear, everything comes off. Uh, and then uh, special inspections are done, which are called NDT, non-destructive testing inspections. So uh, a special person, a specially skilled person, will fly in from the States with his equipment and uh, will inspect various parts of the aircraft with a, a technique that doesn't mean destroying or cutting anything. Uh, and, uh, and if no cracks are found or no damage is found, the aircraft will be reassembled and uh, put back into service again. It will take three to four weeks to carry out carry out all that work. Well thank you very much for your time and I'll let you get back to your work. Thanks. Thank you.